Hey, this is Robert Smith from Oklahoma in the backyard. I've been asking, answering questions that people have written me. And um, I have one question here that says, Hi, Robert. I saw your video with Karen on uh, with body dysmorphic disorder. I found it fantastic. I myself live in County Court, Ireland, which I, I've known you visit in one of your, your videos, but I suffer from body dysmorphic disorder myself. I need help badly, and the problem is based around my, my buttocks, one being bigger than the other. And people have told me that, and they're not, but they're not so, and people have told me that. They're not so, that's where the body dysmorphic comes from. If you can, can you please help me in advice? All right, so um, what is body dysmorphic disorder? Now the interesting thing is, it's not a disorder, it's a talent. It's something people do within their minds. That means, uh, like with Karen, the video on YouTube, uh, Karen, uh, what she had, I didn't even know she had body dysmorphic disorder when she came to see me. I didn't know, I didn't know what that was. But I do know well, when I was working with her, and it's very common, I venture to say, every one of you listening has a, a distorted view about your body. A lot of people dislike their bodies. They're gonna, if they got straight hair, they wish they had curly. If their nose is too big, their body is big, too small, or too thin, like their mother, they distort themselves and they dislike themselves. And let's say you do have a lazy eye, or one buttock is bigger than the other, one breast is bigger, or, you're, or there's some kind of um, something that's wrong with your body that you think. Here's the deal. It's what you do in your mind, it's the emotions and feelings you feel and internalize about yourself. My opinion is, is learn how to accept your body, not just try to accept your body, but release the emotions, the judgments, and the attitudes, and the stories, and the memories in and around this part of your body. That means, love your body. You know what, if you have a, a misfigurement, so what? love that disfigurement. These experiences are going to help you become a greater person. These experiences will help you become miserable. It all depends on what you're doing about this. Granted, there's no one perfect body on earth. There's none. They all have imperfections. And your body is perfect the way it is. Love it, like it, and approve it. How do you do that? First thing is, what I recommend, and that's what I did in weight loss, Seminars is look at your body, tap out any emotions and feelings you have about it. Look at it, tap it. Go to the stories you heard about it, tap it. Go back to what people said about it, tap on it. Change the words, change the memories, change the reference. And the cool thing is, is the more you tap on it, the more it'll disappear and you'll even forget that it's even there. If you love your body, you love yourself. If you curse your body, you're cursed yourself. Body dysmorphic disorder is a talent, it's a skill, it's a process, it's a judgment, it's a rehearsal of what other people have said and done. Change it. And how you change it is you keep tapping. Keep tapping on it. So what if you have something bigger or a cut or a scar or a disfigurement? Love yourself because your joy is not determined by what you look like or how you look or what other people think is determined by the value you hold within you. That's it. So I recommend looking at the mirror, tap on any emotions and feelings with it, tap on your judgment, tap on the stories, and when you look at yourself, think happy thoughts. Say I love you, I accept you, I appreciate you, you're amazing, over and over again. And if anybody says anything, tap on that. Because see, these pieces that stick out draws attention. Use this to help you heal and become a great person. There's a lot of people who have been disfigured, uh, crippled, and a, about severe stuff, and they became great, not because of their attitude against their body, but in spite of it. They use this as a healing catalyst to become great. And only the good people, the people who appreciate the real you, will love you and accept you as you are because you love you as you are. I hope this helped you. Body dysmorphic disorder is not a disorder, it's a talent. Most people have the same attitude and the same belief and structure within their minds about themselves. So learn to like yourself and accept yourself for as you are because you're amazing. 
you're alive, you're breathing, and life is for you. Robert Smith, peace out. Well, I